Hey, hello everybody. Hey, this is our continuing uh, lecture on Newton's laws. So we are going to be talking about Newton's third law. Now remember the first law was a law of inertia, which was an object at rest will stay at rest unless acted on by an outside force. And an object in motion will stay in motion unless acted on uh, by an outside force. Uh, Newton's second law is essentially F equals MA. And finally, Newton's third law. Okay. All right. So we would like to kind of think about uh, these laws uh, from that kindergarten explanation. Okay. And here is the kindergarten explanation in Newton's third law. You cannot touch without being touched. Okay. You can't touch without being touched. All right, let's think about that for a second, and we're going to come up with a more formal definition. Um, but we are also going to um, explore kind of what that means. Okay, so if we have a wall here, and we have uh, a hand, okay, and if I am pushing, if I am pushing on a wall, okay, I am going to have a force um, that is going uh, against the wall. And since, and since there is no movement, okay, then there is going to be uh, the force on the wall. We'll say hand here. Okay, now those are going to be uh, equal and opposite, equal and opposite. So the more I push, the more the board or the wall uh, is going to push back, and those become equal and opposite. Well, what, what if it does actually move? Okay, so if we have, if we have, an object like this, okay, and we put a force on it, okay, let's say force A, there is going to be uh, a force B, okay. Now, remember that this force right here, uh, the force of B is going to equal the force of A, and the difference there is just going to be the direction, is just going to be the direction, okay? Now, we know from Newton's second law that um, uh, force is equal to mass times acceleration, sorry, mass times acceleration, mass times acceleration, okay? So if we have a mass here, so even though we have the same equal and opposite force, that does not mean that the acceleration, that does not mean the acceleration is the same. So let's just call this force uh, AB, we'll put it in absolute values, okay? That. Um, if we divide this by m, okay, then we're going to get an acceleration. And if we have that same force and we divide it by a smaller mass, we're going to get a bigger acceleration. We're going to get a bigger acceleration. All right, so. If you think about, if you think about two cars, okay, so if two cars were coming towards each other and they hit, okay, how much force would be on each car? 
And the answer is because they're forming a pair, they're going to be equal and opposite. Okay. So if these two cars have the same mass, okay, they're going to hit and they're going to stop. Okay. Now they could also hit and they could all also bounce back. Right. Um, so they could hit and stick or hit and bounce back, which is called momentum, but we'll cover that um, uh, next semester. So, but if they hit and they bounce back, they're going to bounce back with equal, with equal velocity because the force in there gave them the same acceleration. Well, what if we have a force this way, but now we have a smaller force this way, sorry, a smaller mass this way. Okay, so if they go to hit, okay, because it's an interactive pair, that's going to be the same force. But since this one has less mass, it's going to accelerate more. Since this one has more mass, it is going to accelerate less. Okay, we can also, because we can also uh, visualize this is if we are on, let's say a skateboard, and we have someone else on a skateboard. Um, and we'll move this one forward a little bit. Okay. So now we have skateboard here, person here. And we'll make this person's arm a little bit longer. Okay, so now if we have these two people that are of equal mass, okay, and they push off each other, okay, then this one and this one, okay, if we have equal, if we have equal force and equal mass, they're going to have the same acceleration. And the time that they interact, the time they're touching is going to be the same. So therefore their velocities are going to be the same. Okay. Well, what if we made this red person bigger? Okay. So if now this is two times the mass, okay. And now when they push off, this one is going to be slower and this one is going to be faster and that was going to be faster so as we increase as we increase the mass of this one or decrease the mass of this one okay in that same interaction pair the acceleration the acceleration is going to be proportional to um Force divided by mass. So as you as you make this mass bigger and bigger and bigger, this acceleration goes smaller and smaller and smaller. Okay. Now this this kind of brings up this kind of brings up the situation when we think about the Earth. When we think about the Earth. Okay. So if we go to jump up, if we go to, go to jump up, we're going to go up off the ground. Okay. Well, what is the other, what is the other reaction pair? Well, the other reaction pair is going to be the earth. We push against the ground and the ground pushes up against us. Okay. And you may remember that as the normal force. Okay. And the more we push, the more we push against let's say this wall, as we talked about before, right here, okay, the more the wall is gonna push against us. So the same thing happens with the earth. When we go to push off of the earth to jump, okay, we are exerting a greater and greater force the uh, more uh, that we jump higher, okay? Well, the reaction pair, what happens to the earth, okay? So it's kind of like this, we are pushing off of the earth and the earth is pushing off us. So we would accelerate that way and the earth would accelerate that way. Okay. So the difference there is you don't feel the earth moving because the earth, the earth is 
much, 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 much greater uh, in mass. So it is on the order to the mass of the Earth, okay, is uh, about 1 times 10 to the 20 seconds times greater than you are. 1 times 10 to the 20 second times more massive than you are. And therefore, okay, and therefore, um, it is going to move 1 over 1 times uh, 10 to the 20 second times less, okay, than uh, you are. So the Earth, when you push off, actually moves, but it moves so insignificantly small that we don't notice. And if we have someone on the other side, if we have someone on the other side of the Earth, okay, and they're pushing down in the opposite direction of we are on the other side of the Earth, then those forces are going to cancel out. So even though we are all of these people and animals and things uh, around the Earth, essentially they all get canceled out when we talk about uh, the Earth, uh, the Earth moving. Okay. All right. Now the. Um, the uh, last thing in this explanation, okay, is going to be along those same lines, okay, but remember there is two kinds of forces, okay, there is contact forces, or touching, okay, so if I touch this wall, Okay, that is going to be uh, a contact force. And then the uh, other force is called a field force. Had it right the first time. Uh, we have a field force, uh, and that is force um, caused by uh, a force field. Okay, now, you guys, it sounds kind of fancy there when we say force field, but really what we're talking about most commonly is gravity, is gravity. So if I take, if I take this pen and I let go of it, why does it go down? Well, we know it goes down because of gravity, okay? So there was nothing, as soon as I let go, there was nothing touching it, but it moved. So that is what is called a field force, okay? And it can be a force at a distance because there are these gravitational fields that exist in space. And so that pulls it down. Now, the other, the other force that's coming up is because this pen has mass, okay? it's going to attract the earth. So it's going to attract the earth up, okay? But in the same way that when we jump off of the surface of the earth and the earth pushes away, okay, we don't feel it because of the difference in mass. And the same thing occurs when it talks about gravity, okay? When we let this go, this goes accelerating towards the earth, but the earth accelerates upwards. But because the difference in masses are so huge, we don't see or feel the acceleration of the earth, but we certainly view and can measure the acceleration of the pen. Okay, now just to finish this off, okay, um, you will probably have heard of Newton's law in a more formal definition. And Newton's uh, third law uh, is often stated as for every action, which is just a force, there is an equal and opposite reaction which is also force. So forces comes in pairs and they're always equal to each other, but opposite in direction. So we might see this as a more formal, uh, the force of A on B will equal to the negative force of B on A. But just to finish it up, Newton's third law can be explained as you cannot touch without being touched. And uh, that is it for, uh, for this lecture. Until the next one, we'll see you.